Kerbal Space Program, but the sun is getting bigger. Can I plant a flag on the moon before the sun engulfs Kerbin? Let's find out. It's okay. I'm safe in the space center, but as soon as I get onto the launch pad, something bad's gonna happen. All right, good old Kerbal X. Let's go. There's the sun. It's, uh... <laughs> It's very quickly expanding. I don't know how to feel about that. We've got a bit of time. I'm not exactly sure how much time we've got, but we've got some. So let's get to it. It's already like three times the size it normally is. Okay, next stage is... <laughs> I can see the lights. I mean, we still got... <laughs> That's not looking too good. It's blinding already. All right, the next stage gone. I'm just going to aim for the... I don't actually know where the moon is. Where is the moon? It's behind Kerbin. Oh, this could buy... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this could buy you some time. It's fine. I don't know how long I actually have before it gets here. It, so far, like, what? Well, how's it looking so far? <laughs> it's about to swallow Moho. It looks huge already, and it's just swallowing Moho. It's not gonna work. <laughs> Let's be honest. It's not gonna work. Oh no! <laughs> it's about halfway between Moho and Eve. I don't know how long we've got left, but probably not long. I'd say another minute and a half, maybe. I definitely have an orbit by now. I've probably left it a little bit too long, to be honest. Uh, let's just time warp now. The good thing about this is that the sun will expand at a constant rate. When I'm time warping, it doesn't expand any faster. The longer I spend in time warp, technically the slower it grows, right? <laughs> let's just let's just be on four times time warp all the time. <laughs> okay, I'm burning out, I'm burning out. <laughs> I'm not sure whether I'm actually gonna have enough fuel. Surely I will. You know what? I'm just gonna where the frick is the moon? It's over the mm. <laughs> it's in such a bad position compared to where I am now. It's getting closer. <laughs> just prograde. Come on. It's so close. No, it's like halfway between Eve and me. Come on, I just need to get to the moon. There we are. Okay, that's gonna hit the surface. That's fine. That's good. That's cool. That's good. Now just warp. Just, just warp faster. <laughs> it's almost there. Just go. <laughs> Look at that. Is that Kerbin or is that? Oh, that's Kerbin, isn't it? Oh no, we're gonna see Kerbin get swallowed. <laughs> oh no. No, I'm not gonna make it. Oh. And I'm gone. And Kerbin is gone. And now I'm inside the sun. Fantastic. Beautiful. <laughs> what a start. <laughs> so it's very obvious that we're going to need a bigger craft. Okay, 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 okay. It's small again. <laughs> it's small again. All right, I'm starting again. I have a higher thrust to weight ratio this time. And I also have a vector engine on this stage up here. Now I'm going slowly, but for the moment, actually four times speed, four times speed. We got this. We got this. Four times speed. Oh, that's, that's looking wonky. Oh no, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't. I can't control it at four times speed. As soon as we get out of the atmosphere, it's going to be a lot easier because I can time warp. So let's do that. Let's go warp to apoapsis. Let's go. Come on. Prograde. And now four times speed again. And I'm about to run out of fuel. And I have an extra two. Th <laughs> I've already got myself an orbit. That was easy. All right. Uh, we're going to warp there. We're going to go prograde again. And then we're going to burn out already. We're going to set the moon as the target. All I need to do is just hit it. I just need to hit it. Although I do need to land on it. I need to hit it. How's the sun looking? Oh, it's looking pretty big. But it's not big enough yet. We still have time. This is probably too... I probably waited a little bit too far to warp. There we go. Okay, right. Let's warp there. Five hours left. Where's the sun at so far? It's just swallowed Moho. We've still got time. <laughs> we, st we still have some time <laughs> to get to the moon. All right. Okay, we're going to burn there. And then we're just going to do a suicide burn. I'm just going to go all the way down to the moon surface. Oh, it's looking big. <laughs> what do you reckon? That's probably swallowed Eve by now. Uh, we're going to go into surface mode. I'm not going to have enough fuel to actually kill my velocity, so I'm just going to suicide burn. I'm going to wait until the lowest possible point, which I'd probably go with here. Oh, that's, that's still too bad. Uh, I don't actually have enough fuel to do the landing. That's the problem. I don't have enough fuel to do the landing, but I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna land. And... Got 25 left. Let's use it. Now... Oh... I landed on the moon, but I crashed so close. I just need a little bit more fuel and we're able to do it. All right, we're back. We have a bigger rocket. Let's go. It's not auto destroyed. That's going to be a problem. Neither is this one up there. There we go. Okay, they're both on heaviest part. We've got this. I'm just going to probably go outwards a little bit faster than normal. I have plenty of fuel to get to the moon now. doesn't matter how inefficient I do it. I just need to get out of the atmosphere as fast as possible and just get this orbit very quickly. Deploy that one. Next stage, main tail engine. Okay, apoapsis. We'll probably wait until about 150,000 so that we can just get out of the atmosphere faster but the problem is i'm probably gonna burn up in the atmosphere because look at that oh no we're out the atmosphere almost i think there we go we're out the atmosphere let's go 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 <laughs> that's looking like a much better maneuver to get to the moon now so let's just slow that down a little bit is that how's that looking oh that's looking really bad oh no uh, that's not good just just go just go just go <laughs> okay just go <laughs> oh this one's gonna be such a bad one i was so close i think i just waited a little bit too long to do it that time can still be salvaged because i'm just gonna do a suicide burn he <laughs> just enough so that i can crash into the moon and there we go and we're gonna warp <laughs> No, it's not letting me. No, just... 
<laughs> it's not letting me actually, like, click on the line. That's so annoying. Okay, okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. I have plenty of fuel. Absolutely plenty. Loads of it. Loads of the stuff. How's the sun looking, though? Pretty big. Okay, let's waste absolutely no time. We're gonna land at a crater. Nice flat spot. Right, let's go. It's gonna be close. Oh no. Oh no, just looking at that, it's just not a pretty sight. Okay, now the landing is gonna take time because landing on a vector engine. That's so close. No, just fall faster. <laughs> fall faster. <laughs> Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Eh. Eh. Eh, it's a landing. It's good enough. Just, just stop moving. Just, just stop. Yes. Okay, EVA. <laughs> Come on, I need to just plant the flag, plant the flag, plant the flag! Eh! Come on. Did I- <laughs> Just, just plant it! Just, yes! <laughs> eh! <laughs> I planted it! I pressed OK just before I exploded. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was so close. Also, right, it turns out that you can see the sun's getting bigger, right? It transcends the pause menu. If I pause, I can't stop it from growing. <laughs> the sun, it's so powerful, it cannot be stopped. Let's watch it grow, shall we? Right, we've done the challenge. Let's let's have a look at it. Look at that, that's just getting huge. That's gonna engulf the Kerbal system in no time. <laughs> I have an idea. I'm gonna go to Lathe, and I'm gonna see what it looks like from Lathe with Jewel in the background. Let's get a good old eclipse. All right, we have arrived at lathe and wow that's actually really beautiful this reminds me of when i did the the moon getting closer to kerbin challenge we got some really good views from that challenge actually oh i'm gonna get pretty close to the water and you can see actually how big the sun is compared the scale factor is 320 which means the sun is 320 times larger than it normally would be which is actually very very cool that is incredible when the scale factor is 2250 that's when it's engulfed Kerbin's orbit and there we go I've positioned Jewel so that it's just just in the horizon and you can just see the sun it's just actually looks really good when the sun gets quite large so we'll just we'll speed it up a little bit and we'll, we'll just see what it looks like and as you can see it looks really nice actually it looks very very nice the clouds not so much I mean <laughs> we have one last thing to do and that's to see what it would look like from Kerbin so I thought to get a relatively good sense of scale I'd use the albatross so I'm gonna take off and I'm gonna fly that way and we're gonna go over the mountains and just have a look to see what it really looks like and I'm probably gonna crash it immediately fantastic let's go but yeah so far the Sun it's just having a bit of a grow really and wow <laughs> I'm just gonna adjust Kerbin's orbit a little bit let's select Kerbin and let's bring the sun down there we go oh actually we'll bring it up a little bit there we go <laughs> just imagine waking up one day and just seeing this what a bad experience that must be <laughs> it's just doomsday wow that is just imagine just waking up seeing that wouldn't be a pleasant experience but it looks beautiful it actually looks really nice my frame rate not so much not exactly sure why there's probably be a, there's probably a reason actually i've got no idea why my frame rate's just taken a dump what has happened here it might be just the sun's angle and scatterer deciding you know what let's not like this i mean now it's just off the screen <laughs> now it's just too big for the screen i mean you can see minmus is over there that's minmus over there if we lift the camera up a little bit <laughs> it's blinding <laughs> Oh no, it's it's just a doomsday. It's straight from like some doomsday thing. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Kerbal Space Program. But if you did enjoy that, feel free to check out the playlist. There are a ton more videos on there. I think there's about nine or 10 others. So I suggest you check them out. If you want to see my career mode playthrough on my own planet pack, feel free to check that out as well. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that, please do leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next episode.